What's up everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly factory reset your Apple iPad Pro. This is the one with the M1 processor from 2021. All right, so I'm gonna show you two ways to factory reset it. First, I'm gonna show you through the settings. If you could get into your iPad, you can easily reset it here through the settings. If you can't, if it's locked with a password, for example, I'm also gonna show you how to reset it uh, with the password in case you can't get into it as well. All right, so let's jump right in. All right, so for the first method, we're gonna do it uh, through the settings. So this is if you could get into your iPad. So you're gonna go to settings. Here you're gonna select general. And in general, you're gonna see a tab all the way at the bottom that says reset. Select that. You're gonna select erase all content and settings. Here it's gonna ask you to confirm your password. If you have one, you're gonna go ahead and type in your password. Uh, and then once you do, it's gonna ask you to confirm to erase the iPad. Just go ahead and hit erase and the reset process will begin. Keep in mind, everything will be erased on your iPad. So make sure to back up anything that you do wanna keep since it will erase completely everything back to its factory condition. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, in the event that you can't get into your iPad. Uh, maybe it has a password or maybe it's not booting up correctly you can try a factory reset to get it working normally again how you're going to do this is you're going to need a mac or pc with itunes installed also known as apple music and you're going to need a cable to connect your ipad pro this is the new usb c connector cables all right you're going to need one of these to connect to your ipad pro and a usb cable to connect to your a MacBook, iMac, or computer in order to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and connect it here to the iPad. And we're gonna go ahead and connect the other, the other uh, end of the cable to your computer. So I'm gonna be using this MacBook here for the purpose of this video. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and connect it right here. There you go. All right, so once you have your iPad connected, as long as you have uh, Apple Music or iTunes on your computer or Mac, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and press a few buttons here on the iPad to get it into factory restore mode. Okay, uh, so how we do that is we're, we're gonna quickly press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power button until the iPad shuts off. Once the iPad shuts off, we're gonna release and press and hold volume down and the power button. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. So the, as you can see, the iPad is locked here. So we're gonna press volume up, volume down, and press and hold the power lock button okay once it turns off we're gonna let go of the power button and press and hold the power button again with the volume down button there you go as you can see it powered off so i released and held, and now i'm holding the power and volume down button once you see this uh cable here connecting to the macbook you are good to go you can release the buttons and you will receive this notification here on your computer or mac um, so here you can select any of these options, update or restore. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and select restore. And then you're gonna confirm here by selecting restore and update. Here it's gonna ask you to uh, walk through some steps by confirming and agreeing to the terms. Just select agree. So as you can see first, it is gonna download the complete software to restore your iPad. So we're gonna have to wait here, it says about nine minutes to download it. Once it's finished downloading, it's gonna automatically start the restore process uh, by removing the old software on the iPad and installing the new one that is being downloaded. If it takes longer than expected to download the software and your iPad gets out of this screen, just follow the same steps again of holding the buttons up here to get it back into the restore mode. So we're gonna give it a few minutes for it to download. All right, so as you can see, the iPad is still connected in restore mode. Uh, it's been about six, seven minutes. Uh, as we can see, we have two minutes left. Uh, so we're gonna let it finish downloading the software, which is almost done. All right, so now as we can see, it is extracting the software from the iPad uh, since it finished downloading. So we're just gonna let it uh, running the process here. Now it's gonna extract the software and install the new one should take a few minutes to complete the process. And after we're gonna see the message here on the Mac, it's gonna say preparing iPad for restore and we should get this Apple here with a loading bar on the iPad Pro. 
and then we just have to wait for the loading bar to complete. All right, so as you can see, the loading bar completed loading, and uh, we have a message here on the uh, computer. It says your iPad has been restored to factory condition, so just leave it there for a few more seconds, or uh, maybe a minute or two, for the process now to finish, and then your iPad will be completely reset back to its factory condition. And we can hit the OK button here to confirm, and we are good to go. At this point, you can now disconnect the iPad and just wait for it to finish loading. So as you can see, the iPad has been completely reset. It is at the initial setup of the iPad, where here uh, you have to just go through all the settings here to get it set up to start using your iPad again. All right, everyone, so that is it for this video. That is two ways to factory reset your Apple iPad Pro 2021. Go ahead and smash that like button if this video helped you out. And that's all for this video. Catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.